The UN sanctions against North Korea continue to wreak havoc on the nation as fears of upcoming food shortages have forced Pyongyang to call its ally Mongolia for food aid. How North Korea can ship the food to needy citizens is a concern as UN sanctions have made oil just as scarce. But a North Korean delegation is visiting Iran's 8th International Oil, Gas, Refining and Petrochemical Exhibition in Tehran to secure a steady supply of oil exports to help end the famines which have plagued the country for years. We have had and continue to have negotiations with North Korea regarding oil sales. We are in discussions and we don't have any problem selling them oil. Some view Pyongyang's interest as a consequence of the massive U.S.-led military buildup in East Asia, which may have pressured China into temporarily suspending crude oil shipments to North Korea in February. Despite aid from China, North Korea always lacks food and oil. But their relationship with Beijing has been strained recently. They fear another cut in oil deliveries so North Korea badly needs to secure a reserve supply. Analysts do not expect that an oil deal would cause resentment from Seoul as South Korea has become Iran's fourth largest oil customer. While some South Koreans don't want anyone to support North Korea, it will not be a big problem. I think that the government would turn a blind eye to such a deal and not make complaints. Other than being the targets of heavy sanctions by Western nations, North Korea and Iran have little in common and few formal ties, although last year the two did sign an agreement to collaborate in the fields of science and technology. Proponents of sanctions on Pyongyang usually avoid discussing the human cost of economic warfare, but the forced shortages of food and oil have led to who knows how many thousands of deaths. But many believe that imposing such hardships on ordinary people has always been among the main goals of the many UN and bilateral sanctions on North Korea. Ramin Mazahiri, Press TV, Seoul.